I have been at Tech since um, fall of 1994. This time, I was actually a student here, so and a graduate student of philosophy here. Uh, I teach uh, world religions and philosophy, uh, philosophy of religion, and Asian philosophy. I think mostly they would describe me as nuts. It's crazy. Um, I have a habit of uh, um, sort of making random off-the-wall remarks during lectures, uh, and it's not a deliberate strategy to keep people awake or anything, but it works that way. I love the the subject and I love the process of thinking about philosophical problems and I love talking about it with other people. But uh, as far as the teaching goes, uh, part of that is bring new people into the conversation, into the philosophical history of the conversation and seeing them struggle with the problem and seeing it, seeing their minds expand as they begin to understand it and where, you know, where different minds from different experiences take the thing. That's fun. That's a lot of fun. I had to learn to engage students, and that has continued to grow. I've had to get better and better at that every semester. I learn new ways that I need to improve engaging people with the material. I think I've had two uh, people really influence me with their teaching. One is Danny Nathan, who's here in the department, uh, because he was one of my teachers when I first started as a philosophy major. He really impressed me with uh, with his ability to, to build rapport and to help people uh, develop and advance their ideas. And the other one was Jonathan Bennett, who is one of my graduate instructors in Syracuse. It feels great to have people recognize that I have been working at it. It's good to have my work recognized. I feel good about that, and I feel good about joining a group of people who will continue to do things to help other people develop their teaching, too.